Boxing is probably the closest thing to life, to real life that there is, I'm, I'm telling you. Because it's, it's not always fair, uh, but if you work hard, you usually come out on top, and uh, sometimes you don't, you know? I mean, you don't, just like, like I said, just like life. Don't hurt him, go! After that night, he started uh, calling me the Canadian killer because I took both their guys out. Go to the body! Go! That man creates champions. You can't deny the fact that if a person comes into this gym and starts boxing with Rich, he will turn you into champion. Uppercut hook! Uppercut hook! Throw it hard! He always says, you know, if you're scared, you're in the wrong sport. Some people say, oh yeah, Rich, you know, he's a, oh, he's a good, he's a good, good dude. Other people say, oh, he's a jerk. And I'm, I'm both, but I act according to the situation. And that's just how I am. And I, if people don't like it, that's, that's what they get. I am who I am and nothing else. I personally don't think there are a lot of Richard Miller types in the, in the boxing circle. You forget about baseball games that you've played. You forget about football games. Boxing, you will never forget boxing. It becomes your life, you know? Chris, step to it! A lot of people don't know about boxing. They think it's just about fighting and teaching kids how to fight. And that's not, that's not what it's about. We have, we have a mission statement. Uh, and my, my whole goal is just to, t to help kids get off the street and give them something different to do. Uh, and and it's, it's not about teaching violence at all, it's, it's a sport. Uh, if anything, you, you learn the dedication and the discipline you need to succeed in life. Go! If you ever watched Rocky, the Rocky movies, uh, Rich is Mickey incarnate. Uppercut! Richard Miller really, he really changed my life, not only in the ring, but outside of the ring. He had this quote, which he still uses all the time, but it's making champions in and out of the ring. We heard about the Rocks, and we came down and checked them out, and then come in as Richard, you know, his big personality, just loud, hey, everybody ready type of thing, and so we liked them right away. We're like, man, well, let's, let's check out the gym. We did, and that's where it all started back in 2004. This is the last round. I don't care how tired you do right now. And do it again. Go to hurt him. Go. Hey, have a little fun now. Well, the town I, that I grew up in, Rock Springs, Wyoming, was kind of a little rough, a little boom town. And I mean, fighting was a normal, a, a normal deal. Really, it was. Ready, boy. He's trying to steal everything you got in your life. Turn him under again and come around. There you go. Beautiful. Go now. There you go. I was eight years old, uh, and actually, I, I the reason I got into it because I, I got in trouble. <laughs> I got into a fight at a movie theater. So I'm standing outside, and I, I knew the, the new couple of the kids there. I'm like, hey, what are, we, what, are, what are you guys up here for? What are we doing? What's going on? He said, you don't know what you're up here for? So they signed up for boxing. The guy was an animal. Tony Miner! Tony Miner! Coach Richard Miller was one of the best fighters in the country. As a boxer, I know that he had uh, over 150 amateur fights. I know he was really decorated. He definitely was probably one of those who was pretty fearless and would fight anybody. When I turned 13, I was the first one from our club to win the regional championship. Uh, in which, and that region was North Dakota, South Dakota, Montana, and Wyoming. I weighed 105 pounds. And I can remember things from the time I was eight years old till, till now, uh, just so vivid that it, they'll always be with me, you know, yeah, so. It pains me that people don't realize how good he was. Put a lot of, a lot of, a lot of kids through this gym. We used to come out here and run every night. We had a big loop we'd do around here. Uh, yeah, and seeing the, you know, the posters and stuff, the, Looks like they're a little bit wet that they've been up there about six, seven years now, yeah. Brings back a lot of memories. A lot of kids ran down this pathway. His big passion was not only to help uh, boxers who are um, under his tutelage to become exceptional boxers, but also challenge them to become exceptional people outside the ring. My dad died when I was 17 years old. I was a senior in high school. And when that happened, I, I was kind of just lost. And here I'm a young, dumb, kid that, you know, didn't have any direction. Literally, boxing saved my life. So you got that target, see the target, get in the zone. I came in with desire, and I was just an overweight kid. I really didn't have much confidence, but I did have a dream. 
He, he knows how to push you to the next level. He sees things you don't see in yourself. Yeah, he believes in you when you believe in yourself. He pushes us every single day. He doesn't let up. He's very focused and very passionate about boxing and about his fighters. We started getting a little grouchy. Well, it was intense, but it was fun. Rich taught me how to be a champion. Oh, go! Uppercut! You watch a kid come into the gym that's never been there and, and progress, and, and you see his life change and his attitude changes. And I, I mean, there's, I get, there's so, many, so many kids throughout 27, almost 28 years of coaching that, you, that I've seen this. I wanted to give it back. Uh, because somebody did it for me, and there has to be those people in life that do it for other people. Otherwise, some of these kids, they, who knows what they'd be doing. And that's the, that's the most rewarding thing. Whether the kid becomes a national champion or never wins a fight, if you can see a change and impact his life somehow, it's just really rewarding. It's really rewarding. It's been the biggest part of my life by far, of anything in my life. Boxing, is, it's, it's been the biggest part. I'm just helping the kids, man. This, this isn't about me, this is about those guys. You know, I already had my fun as, as a boxer, as a competitor. Um, coaching's a different, it's a, it's a different, different ball game, yeah.